Hello Aquarians, Jennifer Pearson here with your November romance reading. So with the holidays coming up, um, there are opportunities with all the parties that happen to introduce somebody new or special in our lives to our family, friends, and co-workers. So this reading is going to look at how well somebody um, on your mind or in your heart would fit with the other people in your life. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. How well does the person fit your personality? Ah, Ace of Cups. Now, I just asked, how is this person going to fit your personality? This is somebody who's going, who has a happy disposition, who has a lot of love to give, um, and who may gush. Maybe somebody who kind of gushes. Is that going to fit your airy personality? It would be like a balance to your airy personality. Certainly Aquarians like to be, um, like to be appreciated, and this person could um, give you tons of appreciation. And of course, their um, Aquarians are healers. You know, they're traditionally associated with service and healing. And the Ace of Cups would be like emotional healing as well, or somebody capable of that. Again, with all of their abundant emotions. Yeah, and you're the water bearers, and this is water. So it it depends on how much emotion, again, the gushing you like in a partner. But let's look further, and how well does the person fit your life purpose? And here we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is about indecision, and we have this this is really interesting, actually. And so we have, in this particular card, we have this person, look, facing the water. What you have is two swords on either side, and there's a rope behind him, preventing him from going backwards so that he's facing the water. So this is super interesting. I see this person as replenishing you. Like you, you go out and you face things, and you have to come back. And you actually have to kind of prevent yourself from going back out into the wilderness, but you have to come back and replenish yourself. So I feel like this person plays a support role in, could play a support role for you in your life when you go all out in your mission. A reminder to come back and this person replenishes you. So interesting. It feels a little one-sided, I will say that, um, in terms of you or them replenishing you, but you're coming to them depleted, so I'm not sure if you are able to replenish them, so I will just say that. But yes, they could play a role in your, your purpose and mission in life. Um, how well does the person fit with your coworkers? And this may or may not uh, matter to you if the person isn't directly you know, involved in your work life or you, know, you keep work and home separate. We have the Knight of Swords. I just get that you're... Well, there's this. Knight of Swords, rushing in, wants to rush in and sever something. You have this character on this particular card is Napoleon, it looks like. So they may, they may not like the fact that you are less focused on work and you're having a romance or that you have a personal life, which is, of course, not valid for them to not want you to have a, a life separate from work. Um,
I'm not sure, you know, the, I was talking about mission up here in the swords. I see the Knight of Swords as also somebody mission driven. And so I don't think that they give your emotional life a lot of thought, frankly. This is all air. It's more actually along, uh, along the lines of, of your energy. And so they would just ride right over this person. They couldn't care less. That's not what they're about. So I think that in the end, they don't care as long as the mission is accomplished. You can, you can have whatever kind of relationship you want. They don't care. Um, how well does the person fit with your family? The Holly King, which is the Hermit but it's also somebody, somebody who goes around through the winter kind of providing, providing for others. In this particular hermit, you see there's a home back there that this person has visited and kind of deposited a gift. I think they see this person for you as a light in the darkness. Again, the, the hermit is off on his own mission, so there's a lot for you in terms of mission. And this person being um, an emotional support for your mission, and your, your family actually sees that. They know that you're independent and you're out there. And so they're happy to see somebody nourishing, nurturing um, as part of your world. Again, so that you can replenish yourself. And also somebody who will bring you back around to that, to nourishing yourself and to, to take you out of mission mode. So how well does the person fit with your friends? Oh, we have the lovers. So they see how you would be a good match. I'm just going to say it that way. They like this person. They see how the person could be good for you. It's always, to me, it's, it's, it's almost better to have the goodwill of friends towards somebody in your life than even family. You know, family has their own agenda. To me, friends just want to make sure that you're safe and happy. Um, and, you know, sometimes that's the agenda of family as well, but they can have other agendas. <laughs> like they want to make sure that you're well provided for and etc. Um, so, yeah. My only concern, I don't have any concern for you. I think it's a great relationship for you. My only concern is making sure it's reciprocal and that um, there's also some re renewal of this person. But this person, represented by the Ace of Cups, could also have like a spiritual life that's really fulfilling for them or something... I hate to say it, Aquarians, but something other than you that is providing that source of emotional fulfillment for them. And that's what makes them so amazing at nurturing and providing for others. So, you know, maybe it doesn't need to be balanced exactly. But that would be um, a different spread to look at the relationship. So yeah, but I don't see any red flags for you particularly, so go for it. Um, that's your romance reading for November. I hope you guys have a great start to your holidays, and I will see you again in December. Bye-bye.